All right, so I'm working on Fiona, and I figured, what the fuck, at this point, I might as well make a video on how I'm going to fix it. I uh, posted on the planet and on the trader um, that, um, I'm sorry, the mafia and the uh, and the trader, that uh, this fucker and Fiona was rattling in around 1500 And turns out that the douchebag before me, left the two fuel lines just sitting here and they were over here touching the shift lever so when i grabbed the shift lever and pulled it hard up or down or whatever um the the noise would go away so i pulled the rubber boot basically just fucking tore it out of there because i'm not taking half this shit apart um so there's two brackets they're back further over here um by the um brake lever where that brake lever comes down through the tunnel um this being the tunnel ladies um, um there's a bracket over there or two actually they're like factory attached to the these two fuel lines but there's no place to attach them to so starting right now there's nothing up here like for attachment but um to to shut this thing up I'm going to uh I'm going to do a couple of things and uh I'll bring you guys along, you know, yay nay, it doesn't really matter to me cuz as long as the fucking thing is quiet, I'm happy. I'll uh I'll uh, keep you appraised. I'll be under the vehicle next next time you see me. All right, so I lied. I'm back up top still. So up top, you can see what I've done. I have this super dense foam that's got to be an inch and a half. Um, they come in sheets, pig pads, and I cut them and kneel on them, whatever. I use them around here. So what I did was um, I basically cut one, and I put the all the wiring right here and the fuel lines on top of it so it's it's uh pretty dense and isolated yet my shift lever still works you know then i'm going to take another one and i'm going to put it on top and i'm going to kind of sandwich it down which you'll see now um just kind of pop it in there and do that and then i've got the oe boot that's gonna go on here. I could cut this one a little wider maybe and and nah, it's, it's going. There it is. That'll kinda keep all the road shit out. But maybe I will make it a fucking dickhead wider. Hold on, don't go away. Alright, so I cut a second one. This one's a little bit wider, so when I stick it on here, I can kinda pop it around the edges. So now I'm pretty much sandwiched in there. You know, I know it's not OE or factory or go fuck yourselves, whatever. Um, it is what it is, you know. No water's going to come shooting up through here. I'm not going to get any stinky-ass smells like I got last night when I drove this bitch home. Okay, um, don't go away. I cut the, the OE boot. Take you for a little spin over here. Okay, I cut the OE boot. Where the fuck did I put it? Found it. There it is. So, see what happens? Cut myself. Um, so all I did was just trim the edge off, off the boot. And basically what I'm going to do is just, I'll pop it on there. So um, when it comes through the console, it'll look, uh, you know, this will be, this will be there and it'll look semi factory. All right, but it'll just kind of sit there. I may put a screw through the console just to hold it uh, in place. But this is double sealed now. This should shut that up, keep a lot of the road noise out, um, all the water out. Whatever that doesn't keep out, this will keep out um, within reason. I mean, it's not sealed, but you guys get the gist. Uh, I'm going to go downstairs. I'll pick it up down there. And... Uh, I'm injured. I wonder if I could sue myself a comp. Hmm. Anyway. Um, next time I'll pick it up, I'll be downstairs looking for a way to hook those fucking brackets up. I, you know, normally I like to do it factory, but I'm not dilly-dallying around with a rubber boot. 
you know, I don't really give a shit. Underneath, if I can find a place to hook those hoses, I may, this may all be for naught because when I get underneath, I may disconnect the line at the fuel pump, uh, I'm sorry, at the fuel filter, and uh, one of them's a return line, so it's just a drain line. I'll, ret I'll uh, disconnect them where I can if I can, and if there's a way to reroute them outside of the frame rail or something, or if they ran them the wrong way, I'll fix it, and then this'll, this'll all be for naught. I'm still gonna leave it there to seal it, but it's not gonna shut anything up from rattling against this shift leather. All right, I'll pick you up in a little while. Little bonus footage. Um, had myself some first aid. Phew, my God, I thought I was going to bleed out. Question, anybody know what it is in Scotch 33 electrical tape that just is unbelievable for cuts? I'm, uh, I'm doing this a long time. Put this fucking shit on there. Got a little paper towel for the blood, but you come back in a half an hour and this fucking thing is it's practically healed. You don't get that in the cheap fucking Harbor Freight tape. Anyway, just figured I'd give you a little bonus footage. By the way, you see that? That's the uh, steel cover for the gas tank. Um, got my creeper. Broken wheel because I'm fat. They don't make this fucking chili, this fucking shit. Anyway, there's the gas tank without the cover. Over here on the um, uh, driver's side, the left side, there's three um, nuts you can get to. Um, I dropped the tank on one side yesterday, and I was getting a, um, an EVAP code. It was a 446, which is the canister vent valve. Well... It wasn't really the canister vent valve. you got to be careful with those. When I looked at the scan tool, the pressure in the tank was just not doing anything. So um, I replaced the little fuel tank pressure sen uh, sensor. Uh, it cost me about 40 bucks. I think uh, Intermotor or BWD made it. But uh, it just literally, the tank hung down beautiful on an angle. I didn't even bother to take it off the east, this side on the right. Uh, right up here, about a hand's length in. Pop that sensor out. It's only held in there by a rubber grommet. Nothing else. No no screws. And uh, it has a three wire connector on it. I replaced that. No more. No more code. I can. I think I was stuck at uh, 14 or 15 inches. Um, at uh, just that idle with no gas cap, which is kind of ridiculous. Now it's at at negative point zero or negative rather uh, negative point five. It fluctuates around, and then when the uh, when the purge and the uh, and the vent valves close, uh, the vent valve is always open. The purge valve is normally closed, but when they do close to put vacuum into the system, then that that little valve up there is not leaking anymore, and I pass on the DMTL test. Um, anyway, just figured I'd bring you know just show you that in my little oh. I wonder if I could get some that tonight. Baby, look. Look what that he did. He hurt himself earning for you. I don't know. Anyway, we'll try. All right, here's the deal. Fuel filter. One line. One of those stupid fucking clamps that Mizuza loves. Me. Anyway, this looks like the vent. They turn from hose to pipe. And... They come up here in hose into this little connector and they go to this bracket right here. Now, I am behind the vehicle looking towards the transfer case. Transfer case is right, right that way. Say hi. Anyway, this here looks OE. This looks factory. These are, these are clipped in here, okay? I'm going to slide forward and... If I can get you a good shot of that. Sorry about that. I hit the stop button over there. But here we are continuing. So this is where they come up. Right here. From. They're, they're covered in, in like a rubber. But they're hoses right now. They come through this metal bracket right here. Which is attached. And they're attached firmly to it. Via those, those two clips. That look like they're right. Then this is where it goes up at the transfer case and right there you can see they change back to right here where my 
finger is pointing. See it? They change back to pipe. Okay. It's at that pipe area, just above the transfer case, where there's the metal bracket. But I don't see any any factory location to put it. Now, the, the foam I just put in is up here. And, you know, you can... That's that's just there. If I have to take it out, I will. But I was I don't know if I'm con gonna consider taking them off here because this looks right, which means they have to run through the tunnel, which is a stupid ass place for fuel lines. You think they just would have ran down the frame rail, but like these brake lines do. But anyway, once I figure something out, I'll be back. All right, so. What I decided to do was disconnect those lines at the uh, fuel filter. Um, over here, fuel pump relay. Um, third one up is fuel pump um, uh, relay power. Just uh, started the vehicle, let it run, pulled the 15 amper, as you can see here. Um, I pulled that, uh, that 15 amper, fuse F10, let the car die. Uh, kills the fuel pressure then I'm gonna go you'll see me under there in a minute and I'll uh, I'll disconnect those hoses and see if I can reroute that a better way um, again upstairs may all be for naught but you'll see me in a minute all right safety goggles under here I've moved the clamp over over here I'm gonna take it off here also on the vent line move it over take these off I've disconnected them at that factory looking bracket I'm going to see if there's a different way to route them and then it comes back to this bracket but um, this can still be under residual pressure so when you pop this off of here make sure you got your goddamn safety glasses on see we've got fuel pumping out it's just residual alright just be careful you don't get yourself all fucking eyeballed up alright all right, guys, so I'm doing a little finagling down here, and I finally found where it goes. You can see the uh, the bracket right there um, where my light is shining. You see the two hoses coming out of the rubber, and it goes right down right here to that bolt. That bolt wasn't there, but um, there is a sensor right here. Uh, I took that bolt out. I'll put it back in. This is a uh, this is M6. This is looks like an M8. Um, 12 millimeter head, 10 millimeter head. Um, so that's where the factory bracket goes. I ran it back down this way, back to the original shield here, where you can see it'll clip in here, and on this side it'll clip in over here. I still got them disconnected over here, but I'm gonna reconnect them at the fuel pump. I mean, at the fuel filter now, I'm contemplating replacing it. I don't know. I'm selling the thing, so what the fuck? Yeah, but whatever. I'm going to hook those back up. Now, you could probably see I've unskinned all, I've taken all the loom off all the wiring and sent it a whole new, a whole new way. Um, I'm going to re loom it. I'm going to re zip tie it. But you can see right there is another one of those brackets. Got to find where that goes. I don't know if I'm missing something. Because it sure did look like on when I looked at Shrek that it was off of a bracket on the side. But um, it, it's still different because on Shrek this, this didn't mount horizon, uh, horizontally like this. It mounted vertically. So I assume it's going to be completely different because this is a TOD. Anyway, moving along. I'm going to rerun all the wires correctly. Hopefully this is close to the tunnel up there you see it but once I find where that that bracket that OE bracket I don't think it slides so no it's part of whatever it's part of the hose assembly um, and then I think I'm gonna be good cruising uh, I won't hear any more rattling because you know I'll just give these a little jig get them off of there once I get that bolted down I want to make sure I'm not touching anywhere on the transfer case then I want to route the harness 
so it's unencumbered. This fucking idiot had it twangled all over everything, and you know, in inside, outside, all the way back around. So I don't fucking homie don't play that shit. So I'm just gonna fucking redo it. I bought some loom the other day, Amazon. You got you can see I got everything, all the fucking harnesses out. Once I get this done. Then I should be done. Uh, we'll find out. I still got one more thing I was talking to the guru on the planet about. Um, he wants me to disconnect up up by that harness up there at the tranny. He wants me to disconnect the TCS and see how hot the temperature gets in the transmission. And uh, see what's going on. It's been running good. Sometimes around 200 degrees in the 200s, it starts to... Uh, it starts to miss a little or slip a little. I'm thinking about a tranny cooler, but I don't know. Oh, by the way, I loosened the bolts for the cross member just so it drops down a little bit. Um, I re-welded I re bolts on here so I could just put big-ass nuts in there. And, you know, so I put unwelded, you know, bolts using them as studs so that my transmission mount actually was holding because, of course, the dildo broke those and didn't fix it. So, basically, all I'm doing is buttoning this truck up. Every day I drive it, it rides a little bit smoother. But, um, hey, you know, that's the whole fucking idea. I want it back to... I want this one to be stock, and I want Shrek to be badass. So, uh, anyway, that's where I'm at. I'll be back. I'll show you the finished product, I think, unless I come across anything more interesting. All right, guys? All right, here we are. I decided even though these I don't need them I'm gonna leave them in here the foam that should shut that up a little bit this is just sitting here get ready to put my center console piece in what happened was on the on the fuel lines I did find that one place where the bracket goes on the back end of the transfer case that got the lines all the way over to this side of the tunnel um, so they're completely out of the way now um, they're held up tight. What I ended up spending most of the day on is I pulled the harness all the way back to the front of the transmission and re-ran it all the way back. Guy who had this, the previous owner, was an asshole. Um, he just, you know, fucking twisted everything and all the things you don't do, he did. Anyway, he ran them at whichever way. Now they're straight. They're tied off every couple of inches with zip ties or factory harness uh, cable holders. So I'm going to pop this in, see where I'm at. I still have a bracket towards the front of the transmission bell housing. Tomorrow I'm going to pop under there. I don't know if I'll add it to this video or not, but I'll add, I'll uh, pop under there and uh, see if I can't make that hole. And uh, this way nothing's rattling around. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon.